so mad. I'm stealing your woods. Do it. <laughs> there we go. Here. Well, that's close enough. Oh, there goes my suspension. Hell yeah. God, I fucking hate Russia. <laughs> no, come here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Nope, I'm gonna have to get a little closer. Oh, closer? Hold on. Yeah. Whoa, that should work. I think I can poach it from the back. It's gonna take some incredible log skill. I think I should be able to grab it now. <laughs> push, push, push. Grab, push. Yes. Steal. Stealing. Yes. I am a god. <laughs> God, it's almost worth not putting chains on just so you could have the mud tires. Uh-oh. Hey, I knew that was going to happen eventually. Oh, you dirty dog. Okay. All right, one more. It should be a little bit further behind you. Yeah, I see her. Okay, okay. Doing something else and... Relaxing for a second so I don't get mad. <laughs> okay. 
Metal beams and this thing says crane oh, with a controller is not that bad. This thing says oversized cargo is in Cosmodrome. Oh, there's metal beams right there. There's two of them. All right, let's see. I'm getting pretty good at running crane with the controller. Feels nice. Pack cargo. I wish it would stop asking me to do that. Okay. Curtis, what are you working on right now? I yeah. am working on the path over to the locked map. So anything that's uh, going to be over this. Uh, yes. All right. Uh... So I'm picking up new task and I'm uh, trying to open the roads because he's got a whole bunch of the south of the map, south, uh, southern, uh, what the hell is it? Southwestern part of the map that's not open. Okay. The north, the north, southern, east, western? Yeah. I was trying to do three things at once and English wasn't one of them. Yeah. <laughs> I know that feeling. Okay, back in action. Or maneuvers. One oversized cargo and three metal beams. Matt, are you working on the oversized cargo? No, sir. I'm working on the metal beams. Metal beams. Okay. What's the oversized cargo? That is in Cosmodrome. Yeah. Okay. Go back to... I think uh, uh, oversized cargo is four slot. It's four slots. Okay, let me get my big boy. This. Yeah, I'm gonna go get your metal beams, um, Gray Jar. Trailer. Actually, this says the only thing it needs is oversized cargo. What the heck were the metal oh, really? beams for? Oh, wow. Wooden planks to the monastery. Okay. in that map that's oversized yeah there's literally nothing to do in this map oh you know what you were probably doing you were probably doing deliver to the substation for northern aegis <coughs> all right let's do that one one and can i do So, in that case, we would go up here. Oh, no. Is it high saddle or low? I'm going to look it up right quick. I always forget, too. Four slot trailer. Okay, let's do that. 
Okay, now I know what I'm doing. Hey, I'm no longer grumpy. Nice. Oh, you see my giant rut I made? <laughs> Ice. Yeah, man, you went a little too far out there, I guess. I sure as hell did. I was lucky Curtis was right there, so I just latched onto him and almost pulled him over. Awesome. done any upgrades to this truck? What the hell? Five slots, sideboard semi trailer. This is what I wanted. Maybe I should have put chains on my tires. <laughs> Are you slipping and sliding? Yeah, I thought I'd need mud tires more than I needed uh, uh, chains, but I think I was mistaken. That's okay. We'll do what we can. Just drive off road just a little bit. Yeah, that's what I usually do. You know, maybe I could have put the diff lock on. I didn't think of that. <laughs> oh, look, it helps. <laughs> oh, shit. Maybe I should have put some chains on mine. 
Come on, join the struggle bus club. Uh, I'll put my tire in the grass. You found grass? No, no, no. Turn, damn it. No, not that far. God, no. No. There we go. Where'd you find grass? Outside. <gasps> what? I went outside to touch grass. Chains are for the weak. I don't know, man. I might be weak. <laughs> oh, I hope this wasn't a trap. And the narrator says what he doesn't realize is this was absolutely a trap. I think it was. Good thing I changed out my winch. Oh my god. Yeah, that twin engine rent wench or whatever it's called. Oh! My tires are underground. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Gotta pull them out of the muck. Oh my god. This was a mistake. I admit it freely. I am not under duress. Let's go to the back of the trailer. Wait, what is that doing? Uh, lower? Lower. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Golly gee willikers. All that language. I know, right? Jeez. You know we're live on stream, right? Yes. <laughs> Rated M for mature. Go, truck, go! Oops. Come on, there you go, there you go, there you go. Alright. Trick. Okay. All along. What the heck is that? Did. Ugh. Ugh.
Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I'll try this again. Except not go through the trap zone. Pay attention. Hard way it is. Thank God. Okay. Whew. These maps can go fuck themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait until you get here on your own and you, you end up spending like six hours on one job and you don't even make it out of the garage. I did that the other, not the other day, but I did that like a month ago on stream. I spent like three hours on one job and all I could manage was getting my truck to the place where I had to pick up goods. I didn't even pick them up or take them where they needed to go. And then I was just like, all right, that's three and a half hours wasted. I'm gone. Uh, hey, Matt, are yes. you recovering all your trucks yourself, or you want to recover all the trucks yourself? Uh, preferably, yeah. Oh, butt okay. pucker! Butt pucker! Butt pucker! Ah! So Ow. I unlocked your Stargazer mission. If it's, uh, if it's like... Oh, God, what am I doing? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll take care of the trucks myself, sorry. Thank you for asking. I appreciate it. No problem. I didn't want to do all the repairs and gas it up and steal all your glory. 
Is it a task or is it just a truck sitting out in the middle of nowhere? It's a task. You got to do repairs and gas it up. Oh, okay. But getting to it is a monstrous pain in the ass. No, if it's a... Hey, what's up? Who's that? <laughs> me. Oh. Pardon uh, me. He's coming through. You're all good. Ah! You're fine. Ooh. He over there hamming it up, Curtis. He's not even... Not even doing anything crazy. I just took this along a very narrow ridge, and I was driving fast. He's lying. So do you want me to repair it, or are you going to repair it? Uh... I tell you what, you said it's in a place that really sucks, right? I mean, yeah. Where I'm at on the map, I don't know what map you're on. I'm not on I'm in map. Cosmodrome. I'm in like the far south. Uh, if you want to, uh, uh, if you want to pull it out and bring it closer to like a path, uh, and then just leave it there, that would be great. Ooh, I can certainly try. You do all the hard work, Curtis? Yeah, essentially. Curtis has professional level of hours in this game. Don't be telling stories. I'm pretty sure you have more hours in it than Matt does. I've got 300 hours. I haven't looked. I know TJ has more hours in it than all of us combined, I believe. I think at one point I was really close to passing him up, but he's played a lot since then. And I stopped playing for a while. Oh, this is gonna suck. Ouch. Oh, no, no, I don't want to drive over that. Oh, roll. Oh, shit. Well, oh, damn it. There we go. It's kind of cathartic oh. hearing someone else have trouble with the game. Besides no. me now. <laughs> Come on now, trailer. Let's not hang off the cliff. Please? Trailer, do what trailer want. Uh... Ah! Oh! My camera shifted on me. I saw the underside of my truck in air and I thought I was just dead. Two talent over there unlocking missions and stuff. Turn. Not so much. Turn. Turn back. Please. Please. Turn back. Turn the other way. Oh. Oh, oh my god.
Oh, finally, God dang. I made it. How many hours do I have in this game? Uh, where's my What's up, Skip? Ah, I skid. Mindy says hi. Hello, Luke. You get both Mindy's. You get original stuffed Mindy and knit Mindy. I have 148 hours in SnowRunner. Are you? There you are. Curtis has 506 hours. It's no run. Damn. What's Lucid got? Uh, A thousand. <laughs> Oh, this is your. I don't want that. This is Curtis. Oh, I can find a game. Yes, TJ oh. has 413 hours in the game. No, there's no way. He does. <laughs> Professional snow runner? No. Oh, sh oh where, where the hell am I going? Oh, there's medium logs all over the place. Wait, there's a garage here? Oh. What the? Um, I'm done. Uh, well, that's SMRT smart. But yeah, that's always points well spent, Skid. No way I'm going to take the gun. I got that thing as close to a road as I can get for you, Matt. That'll work.
I don't think I did too oh. bad considering it was the F750 I drug it all the way up here with. Ow. Sliding. No. Old bridge, okay. Downshift to a drift. Gosh. Matt, you need to get yourself an as if. You know, my audio blipped and I thought you said ass lift. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I wasn't 100% sure what he said either. <laughs> I was like, I need to do a what now? As if. Right. A-Z-I-V. As if. <laughs> I think that's the truck I'm going No, No, an Azov. I'm sorry. Azov. Well, that's not as much fun. <gasps> I'm just gonna lay down right here. I'll be good. You take a nap. Yeah. Are you in Cosmodrome? Shoot. Ah! Are you talking I'm to me? Take a nap. Yeah, but uh, I'm going to take a nap first, so that's okay. Sounds good. Okay. Damn it! All right. There's a garage here, right? Not far from where I'm at, right? Right? Pick the garage. Come on, Caterpillar, let's go. Go save the day. 
Another way. This guy would have had his neck broke by now. Just watching him bounce around in the cab of this truck. That's uh, that's whiplash right there. I wish they'd let you put an attachment on the front of the truck for like a road grader. Push all the boulders out of the way? Well, I mean, if you're going to allow you the opportunity to clear the road, you know what I mean? Right. Wedge just in a tree here. You get no argument from me, sir.
Yay! No more sleeping. On the road again. Howdy. Oh, so choppy snow over here. Come on, come on. Just stole fuel from that cat. Where were you going to steal fuel from? Oh, I had a caterpillar that I used to roll my... Oh, God! Roll my truck back over. So I wasn't wrong. I was just confused. Are you thinking I was talking about an animal? Yeah. I should have taken fuel from that cat. I was all like, what? Come here, cat. Let me stick your butt in the tank. Power me to victory. Fueled by Elgato. Not sponsored. But, you know, if you want to. <laughs> you know what I went and bought for... Uh, I decided that I was going to spend my Christmas money finally. Yeah? That I got. And I went and bought one of the uh, Elgato green screens. The nice. big one. That's the one I've got. It's the one you can... It uh, it's like in a projector thing and you can roll it up and down. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's the one I got. Mine is in the box under the bed at the moment. Nice. The best place. 
I may actually try to set it up this weekend, but I've got to climb under my truck sometime tomorrow. And I got to tear the oil pan shield off my truck because it's hanging free. Shredded and dragon and stuff. Yeah, it's made out of crappy fiberboard. Really? Oh. So the aren't, bolts have pulled through. So aren't they worthless. Aren't they usually like a hardened plastic? You would think. But unfortunately. But unfortunately Ford's cheap. Cuz Ford's oil pan is plastic and not steel. What? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. So the the default oil pan is now plastic? Yep, it's about plastic that's about three or four inches thick, I believe. Okay, so it's super thick. Yeah. It's cheaper to cast. Still. That's Oversized shitty. Carter. Oh yeah, it's garbage. So I want that I want my uh oil pan shield on the truck. I think I'm going to buy a steel one to replace it eventually. Yeah, I was going to say, they've got to sell aftermarket ones that are metal. Oh yeah, they're like 300 bucks. So I'm going to get one of those eventually, but I think what I'm going to do... I called Ford and I was like, hey guys, how much... Oh, uh, can I be feeling oh, I'm in trouble. No, I can't. Nice. I think I'll just leave this truck in town and bring a, a fuel truck to me. I I called Ford and I was like, hey, how much is this replacement fiberboard shield? And they're like, yeah, it's two hundred and eight dollars. And I was like, okay, thanks, bye. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'll just get some cardboard and tape it up there. Poor shit! I was like, 200 bucks, why not just spend the extra 100 and get one made out of steel? Alright, I gotta stop It's weird here. the kind of stuff they nickel and dime people on to try to reduce the cost of a truck or, or increase the profits they get from selling a truck. Because I've... <clears throat> I watch a guy who does, like, auto detailing on, uh, on YouTube. And he's constantly bashing these companies that he's like, 10 years ago their carpet was really good and it was really easy to clean their carpets, but now they put in this Velcro shit and it's just impossible to clean now. Yep. Anywhere to shave off that expenditures and add to that profit margin. Ford has pissed me off so much. Each year I sit there and I watch. Is it for lighter weight and better fuel consumption? Don't lie to yourself. <laughs> I've sat there and watched Ford raise prices on their trucks year over year over year. When the average vehicle payment these days is now $963. It's ridiculous. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, they say that. Well, yeah, of course they say that. Oh, yeah. They also said that an aluminum body would only add five thousand dollars to the price of the vehicle. <laughs> they are the liars. Oh, they are. Makes me so mad. Not what, 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 what are you gonna do? <laughs> Nothing. You're, You're gonna, gonna get under the truck and tear it off and go without it. <laughs> You're just gonna get yeah. You're gonna get another truck and you're gonna be like, well, this sucks. Hold on, let me spend thirty-six thousand dollars for a base F one hundred and fifty regular cab with no extras. Back in my day, you could buy a Lariat for 36000 Back in 
my day, video games were 8-bit. You know, I still kind of prefer 8-bit to a lot of things these days. I hate, with a passion, control schemes or games that require you to have millions of inputs at the same time. It just, it's too much for my brain nowadays. Can you elaborate? Um, I use Dark Souls for an example. Uh, like, roll, dodge, hit, 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 roll, dodge, hit. <laughs> and then equip five, you know, or... Or RPGs now, where everything has to have a stat. That kind of bothers me. Like, I liked Final Fantasy VII. You slotted a materia, you got that power. Now it's like, well, you can add the bangle bracer on top of your sword with an extra gem inside of it. And then don't forget, you can put something in the hilt. Yeah, just exaggerations. I don't want to think that much. I don't want. Uh, to, I don't want to min max. Let me put it like that. I don't have a problem thinking that much, but I do agree on the min max thing. I don't do that. I I like the games that I like to play uh, are very much kind of linear. Like, hey, guess what? Here's your here's your cool weapon. Now you've advanced to this area. Oh, there's a new weapon you can buy. I'm gonna buy that weapon now. Fair enough. I'm a very simple man. I like my Atari adventure. Uh, that is quite simple. <laughs> <laughs> my little dot is gonna go everywhere. No. Be my sacrificial lamb truck. Multiplayer fuel bug. Uh, yeah, that's why oh, I'm yeah. doing this very slowly. One button push at a time. Yeah, don't fall victim to that. Last hit. There we go. Well, then I don't think you would enjoy Baldur's Gate. Ah, <laughs> uh, I mean, it's okay from what I've seen, but I haven't like. As you sit out there with no fuel, uh oh. Where are you? I mean, the multiplayer fuel bug only applies if you try to spam the button. You can still get refueled from other trucks, you just can't spam it. There you are. Um, how is. Ooh. I might be able to get to you. Hold on, two talent, I'm coming. Let me bring my emergency truck. Where's my fuel truck? Is Tutala not in the voice chat? No, his yeah, mic's broke. His mic's broken. Oh, that sucks. Help is on the way! Matt, are you stuck? Nah, I got it. Okay. Huh. No? <laughs> you went to the garage. I'm gonna try... I'm bringing my fuel truck hey, out. 
So. Uh, Daniel, I'm over here next to Talon. I can grab him. Oh, you got him? Are you, well, do you have a fuel truck for him? Uh, I have fuel on top of my Zix, and I'm just right next to a fuel station. Oh, okay, cool. So let me run down this path and grab him. That way you ain't got to come all the way over here. Yeah, it's not that far for me. I'll tell you what. I got you. I'll continue heading that way in case something happens. Is it just out of gas, or does he need to be rolled over or repaired? Or? Out of gas. It seems. Oh. You bugger. Well, never there mind. is a big sexy beast. I see him. Let me recover. I'm gonna just recover and I'll put that back in the garage and pretend that never happened. I go back to my truck. All right, how am I gonna get back? That was. Needs any repairs? I can do that real quick. Oh, uh, looks like he's good. All right. He said thank you. I'm off. Anytime. I'm gonna spin around and follow him if he'll let me. Uh... My oversized load. It's going to be really cool if I can get a job done today. There's a fuel station up to the right, two talent. You got it, Matt. We believe in you. I know you believe in me. I I believe in me too. It's, it's the act of actually accomplishing it that's the problem. Well, you would have cleared that bringing the logs to the church had it not been for your truck starting to act weird. That's fair. Put some acceleration on this piece. Into the muck. Got it. 